vegan pizza dough using two ingredients, no yeast, no rise, and pizza in no time. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome and welcome back. My name is Andrew. I am part of the tag team duo at MakeItDairyFree.com. Today, we're gonna be going over how to make two no yeast pizza doughs. That's right, yeastless. I said it, yeast free in this, by the way. These doughs will also require no rising and is ready instantly for use. I mean like making the dough to getting the pizza on the table is probably 15 to 20 minutes max if you decide to take like a bathroom break. Did I mention you can use gluten-free flour? Yup, all-purpose bread flour, wheat flour, they are all compatible with this recipe. The first recipe we're gonna be going over has really three to four necessities to put the dough together, but also a few pantry recommendations to help boost the flavor profile. The second recipe honestly is just like a straight up game changer, no pun intended. All right, folks, no more talking. Let's get in the kitchen and drop it like it's hot. So we're going to be starting out the first recipe with simply adding all of our dry ingredients together. One of the optional ingredients here is sugar. I like my dough slightly sweet. If you're a crust person, you know what I'm talking about. But technically, baking powder can also be considered optional. But in this recipe, I recommend it. While not necessary, it does add volume to the dough. Say it was left out. You could have a pizza, but technically it would look like it was assembled on more of a flatbread. Now add all your wet ingredients together and pour it into the dry ingredients. Water is the only necessity with the wet stuff, while the others help with flavor and texture. With a sturdy spatula or wooden spoon, just stir everything together until it's well incorporated. Once you get there, get the dough onto the counter and very lightly knead it, basically just to shape it. Don't over knead as kneading is not necessary in this recipe. Now add your toppings in preparation to get it to the oven. When preheating the oven, set it to the highest temperature it can go. At 425 to 450 degrees, the pizza should be done in roughly about eight to 10 minutes. Every oven is slightly different. So let it hang out in there until you see the crust turn slightly golden. This next one will blow your mind. What you see here is literally all you need. Coconut cream and flour. I have used multiple amounts of different coconut milks. The one that seems to have the most amount of cream and best quality of cream in it is the Target brand. No, this is not sponsored. All you're doing is adding the cream to the flour and mixing until a dough forms. I use my hands this time around, but technically you could use a stand mixer or a spatula to bring this thing together. The dough should not be sticky, but should be really soft and easy to handle, sort of like Play-Doh. The crust it makes is damn good and does not taste like coconut at all. Again, simply assemble your pizza and pop it into the oven. These two recipes are truly very simple and super budget friendly. Share your thoughts and leave some positive comments below. When you make this, share it with us so we can feature your awesomeness on Instagram. Hit the like button and follow us on all our socials. Thank you so much for watching. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. As always, believe in good, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. To be honest with you, this whole no yeast pizza thing was, it came together by a mistake. I intended to make pizza, but when I opened the cabinet, I was like, yeast, yeast.
yeast, 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 yeast. 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 So whatever. No yeast, right? I head over to the pantry. I'm looking for, you know, the typical all-purpose or bread flour. I have others, but I use those occasionally. These are my go-tos. It just so happens that neither one of those are available either. Y'all trying to test me. Y'all are trying to test me. No one else is in the kitchen. So I'm having a, uh, a full on confrontation with this pantry. Y'all can't test me. Y'all can't test me. Um, so my daughter ends up walking into the kitchen. Dad? Who are you talking to? I said, what do you mean? This guy right here. This dude right here. Mom? Mom?